The volunteering service in our Red Cross, uh, Red Crescent is a grassroots community-based movement that responds to the needs of the most vulnerable and trying to reach the last mile, you know, the people who others generally don't reach to. That's basically for me is the essence of the volunteering in our Red Cross Red Crescent. The volunteer service, the, the, the basic fundamental is the same because the volunteering service is based on trying to meet the needs of the most vulnerable people. So the fundamentals are the same. But of course in every country, the contexts are different, the needs are different, the cult there are of course cultural differences and, uh, and there is also a capacity of the, a national capacity to respond to the needs of the most vulnerable. From that point of view, you will find a differences in the, in the country, the way they are organized, the size of the volunteering and the type of services people provide are different, but the fundamentals are basically the same. This volunteer learning program is actually a very important uh, program for us in the Federation for a couple of reasons. The first is, you know, one of my emphasis as a Secretary General has been that we try to capitalize on the capacities of the national societies, on our membership. And this learning platform is championed by the Spanish Red Cross. So as a membership organization, we are very proud that the Spanish Red Cross is championing this. So this is a first significance. The second significance is this provides a platform for the volunteers and the volunteer managers from many national societies around the world to come together and share the best practices and learn. I think the learning is a very important element of our volunteering development, but also how do we adapt volunteering so that it fits with the needs of the 21st century, with all the development around the technology, the digitalization, the needs of the volunteers to uh, uh, actually meet their own principles and their own causes and their own beliefs. So such platforms are absolutely fundamental in creating this learning from our membership, from all around the world. And we actually refine our volunteering approaches that fits the needs of the 21st century. The one thing that we have seen from all the crises now, you know, if we look at the climate crisis or the COVID-19 crisis, the hunger crisis, the conflicts and the violence around the world, one thing what we have seen is there has been a huge underinvestment under at the community level. Until and unless the communities are resilient, until and unless there is that capacity at the community level, we will continue to face this type of problem and we always come with the very expensive response after lives and livelihoods have been already lost. So I think the future of the volunteering would very much be community-based and bringing that in investment at the community level to build the community resilience. So people are better prepared, they can mitigate the risk, they are better prepared and they can cope with the impact if the crisis happens. So I see a very much the future of the volunteering to be community-based, grounded in the community.